friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today I wanna to talk about a few ways that Capital Games could really beef up the Separatist team. Now, I do think there's a few characters that are missing from the Separatist. We have that Drory rework, and it's, it's good, but I think it could be better. Now, personally, the reason I want this is because I want a few more characters we just don't have in the game yet, and I think the, the Separatist team needs to have a few more tunes, a few more options to play around with. Now, I've broken this down into three categories. They are the droids, like the separatists themselves, and the Gian notions. Now, I think those kind of cover the, the three subcategories within the separatist faction. Now, I want to start off with droids. I'm very, you guys know me, I love droids. I think they're awesome. I've always wanted my own personal droid. I think it would be great to have just a sidekick who's like super dry humor, which has been programmed into him for just being sassy all the time. I just think that'd be a lot of fun to have. Instead of that, I have children who kind of fit that role. Now, there are only two droids that I think need to be added to this game to kind of round out the Separatist Clone Wars era droids. And the first is, is one that I think that would be both great if it were a, a fleet commander or just a straight up leader. And that is a T series tactical droid. Now this, this droid appears in a number of different episodes of the Clone Wars. It appears in a really awesome episode of Star Wars Rebels. But what this droid could do is it could benefit. It could have a great connection with other like non-specific droids. So with the the B1 battle droid, with the droidica, with the the Magna Guard, with essentially any real droid, this could be that droid commander that we've been looking for. It would be more beneficial to separatist droids, of course. It'd have maybe a unique or something that that would be additional, that would have an additional help to, to separatist droids or to droids in general. But, so the way that I would see this T3 working out would be, it would have a leadership ability that directly benefited separatist droids and specifically separatist droids because that's what this character did. He was a leader for the separatist army. Maybe his unique could be more broad and would allow a, a, a wider ability or a wider help for other droids or maybe vice versa. Maybe his leadership ability is broad and, and non-specific. And so it is the leadership ability that we want for all droids. But then he has a unique ability that directly applies to separatists. Now, I whether that is the case or not, that would be awesome. I think it would be really, really cool. I don't think that he would be much of an attacker necessarily. I, I'd be okay with him being something like a first order officer but to help out droids, right? Now, I, I think that would be really cool. Now, next up is one that I think would be way cool would be the droid commando. And essentially it would be a heavy hitting attacker who was able to deal damage, but wasn't was also able to kind of take some. So not like a tank, but like a pseudo tank. He'd have a high dodge. He'd have... I don't know, uh, you have a great counter chance. This would be one of those characters that would just be awesome. And what's funny, what's cool about this, and if both of these characters were introduced, they could both come in marquee events, and I think they'd be great. I think they'd be beneficial. And as marquee events, I think they're solid characters that people wouldn't be so upset about, right? Because they wouldn't break the bank, they wouldn't make break the meta, but they would make the separatists more viable. Next up is the actual Geonosians. Now we have four Geonosians currently. They are solid in three on three uh, Grand Arena. I think we just need a few more that would be really, really cool. Now, when I think of the Geonosians, for whatever reason, the Night Sisters seem to be kind of like a complement, essentially the same faction. And since they're kind of the same faction, what I would love to see is two characters, again, added to the Geonosians. I would love to see a Geonosian queen, someone who could 
very slowly attack, right? Her basic attack wouldn't be wouldn't be very strong, but maybe she has a unique or a special attack that does do some serious damage. Maybe does some stun or even like stun plus daze. That would be cool. Um, AOE stun, AOE daze, something to that effect would be awesome. Then because she's the queen and they have the hive mind, definitely being able to use and call on all other allies. Now that would be really freaking cool. Don't think she'd have like a really high health. Maybe she'd have high protection because you know, she's queen, she's royalty and that kind of makes sense. Next, and this is where I kind of feel like we already see this on the separatist faction with B1. I would love to see a Geonosian zombie now, we know that the Geonosian zombies existed. We, we know that they they worked. I mean, they, they were controlled by, oh, I don't know, like the, the fungus, I think it was. I think that it would be cool to have this or maybe as part of the uh, the queen's ability would be that she could revive Geonosians like she did the Geonosian zombies at like a reduced cost or a reduced attack or something to where they can continually come back. I think that would be awesome and really freaking cool because it'd be a dynamic that's already in the game, but to another faction. And again, it branches out into these other areas. We have these, these areas like Grand Arena, we have Territory Wars. What would be awesome is new additions that would allow us to play around with different factions in the game and not have to be so stuck with those those meta ones. Now, moving on and my final my final section here are the separatists themselves. And there are only a few separatists. I think there are probably again two that I would like to see added to the game. First would be Admiral Trench. Now, we don't see a lot of Admiral Trench in Star Wars The Clone Wars. He's this giant spider looking guy with an eye and a cybernetic eye. And he's super creepy. If you don't like spiders, he totally will give you the willies. But what's neat about Trench is he would be able to fill the role of fleet commander. Now, we don't have a fleet commander for the Separatist yet. If we had more Geonosians, we could. Maybe if we had a few other droids what i'm thinking though is admiral trench would be a great character ad for fleet commander right and it, it would be simple it would it would not have to require a grievous rework it would give them a new character we could have a way to gain trench the same way we gained the others and i think that'd be really really neat personally right now i'm actually saving up my my fleet coins to kind of to kind of see if if I need them. I'm not sure that I will or not, but I'm going to get to a couple thousand and then just bank them and and cuz eventually I will need another fleet. We will have another fleet commander and I will need to use those, but currently I don't have any need for them. But I also don't have a need in that specific store, so why not? The next, the final character that I would like to see might be a little bit of a controversial one. I would like to see a new Savage Oppress. One that was Padawan or or Sith Apprentice to Dooku or to, to Tyrannus. That would be really cool because, I mean, we have a Dooku. It would be great to have him connected. Savage Oppress is, is a solid character, but he, he's very defensive. And I would love to see one that is just meta breaking right and and maybe not for arena maybe not in in arena maybe like it would give uh dooku and savage and maybe one other a a great three on three aspect i'm i'm not sure i think it would be really really cool but savage did play apprentice to dooku for a time so it would make sense if we got a savage apprentice right and and a good one now that's not to mention any other savages that might come and i do think there are quite a few that might or at least one other that might and i don't know as i think this i think by adding these few characters those are just six that i personally would like to see added 
to the separatist faction. And I think if done in the right way, it really could round out the faction. It really could make them formidable in other areas of the game. They may not be meta defining in arena, but they could be very useful in territory wars and the fleet battles, depending. It could also be great in three on three grand arena or grand arena or whatever eventual mode comes next. That is just how I would like to see the separatist faction change. Whether it does or not, we'll see. But I think that we are going to get a lot of really, really cool things here in the month of April. Is the B2 Super Battle Droid as the April login character generally pointing us to the Clone Wars era and not specifically to the Separatist? Or is it specifically to the Separatist? I don't really know. I do think that it's more of a general thing and I think that we're going to get a lot of different things. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think. Join us on Discord and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Let me know. Let's chat about this. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.